think, to be honest, when you look at look at the four of us and or the, uh, the rest of the lads as well, there's we're not we're not particularly similar. We all do different things. Um, I like to stretch the game and running behind, which is something that the other lads probably don't enjoy as much as I do. Uh, I don't think anyone enjoys it as much as I do, to be honest. Um, which is which is great. It's obviously a bit of a headache for the gaffer. Hopefully, if we can all get firing and stuff, but that's healthy competition for places. And like you said, I knew all the lads and coming in and to learn off these lads as well um, be great. Could you perhaps, albeit he'd only been here for five minutes, to tap up Oli Norwood to find out what his first impressions of the place were? Yeah, I had spoken to Oli. To be fair, uh, obviously I know him from from Northern Ireland. And, He's a great player and as soon as they signed him I thought what a great signing that is. So to be here with him and he, he loves playing forward passes and I like running so hopefully it's a good match. And he uh, and, and well his arrival amongst others has perhaps set expectations in the bar a little bit higher in addition to Sheffield United's strong strong start to the campaign last season. Are you looking are you looking at those expectations and believe they're realistic this year? Yeah, I think so. I don't think we've got anything to be scared of in the league, definitely not. I mean we're third now and that was a probably not the best start um, the way obviously I've played against Sheffield United before but having watched them first hand in the first 30 minutes against Aston Villa they absolutely blew them away and it was scary to watch like it's crazy to, to think that what they've done to a promotion hopeful so I don't I don't see any reason why we can't do that all season. Yeah.